Hey Vogue, it's Biba Doobie and I'm gonna run through my skincare routine and my signature makeup look. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I splash my face with some cold water. I'm gonna attempt to push my fringe away and if it doesn't, it's just gonna get wet and it's, you know what, it's fine. This is like my holy grail on tour. It's called Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. And it just like goes into your pores and like kills all the bacteria. And you get a lot of bacteria in your pores on tour. I use this like once or twice a week. It is quite strong. I use this moisturizer. It's really good. When I wake up, my skin is usually very puffy. So I use these ice rollers. Now that you've got the moisturizer in your face, it just like makes it easier to like move around. And it's good to keep it in the freezer. The funnest way to do it is to do it in the shape of a heart. I'm going on tour and this is very handy. It's the first time we're getting like hotels, so I actually have time to do this. I'm usually on a tour bus and I don't really have a skincare routine. This is great to like de-stress. I mean, it feels great. I don't wear foundation, so I wanna make my skin look as like radiant and glowy as possible. So this oil called Emma Hardy. My skin used to be way worse, but I just kind of come to the conclusion that if you just let your skin breathe, and if you've got like a few spots, you just gotta let them out. When I had really bad skin in six form, I used to do so much shit on my skin, just like make it go better. But weirdly enough, it just like made it worse. And I think I have this habit of just like touching my face a lot when my hands are dirty and it's just, I think that makes such a big difference. When I'm on tour and when I'm traveling, my skin does get really sensitive, but what really acts up are my lips. My lips are just like so sensitive and the air conditioning um, on the tour bus just like fucks them up like so bad. I got recommended this lip balm. I hate when it looks like shiny and glossy. This is matte and it's great. When I put the lip balm on, it almost acts like a lubricant to scrub my lips. Then I put this on again after, just so it can be like extra, extra moisturized. Now I'm gonna move on to my makeup. I don't do anything to my eyebrows, so having a fringe is a lifesaver. On the days I do need concealer, I use MAC Face and Body. It's not heavy at all. And I just like put it on the areas I need. When I was in high school, I was in a very white, predominant school, and for some reason, I just wanted to look whiter. And also, Asian beauty standards, just this weird thing where I, they just want everyone to look paler. And that made my skin go really bad. And then I just stopped wearing it completely, and it's just like, so much easier, and I'm so much more comfortable as myself. I am full Filipino and in the Philippines they have these like whitening products and back then it was just so ingrained in like our mentality. Every time we used to go to the Philippines they'd be like don't tan, don't tan and I was like oh, but I want to get tanned. It was really confusing but I guess through time and like meeting my friends and growing up and maturing and finding hobbies that made me like confident um, I've just grown more comfortable with my skin and how I look and obviously like I'm still on the road to just really loving myself wholeheartedly but I feel like I'm getting there I feel like slowly and surely music is definitely helping I started getting lash extensions when I yeah started doing music I used to wake up an hour before school to put mascara on and it's just that's just like I I don't have that time anymore I just can't be bothered basically I don't really take off my eyeliner because I actually really like the way it marinates on your eye. I feel like slept in makeup is kind of a vibe. I put like some brown eyeshadow on my eyes. So I still use this um, color fix. So I just like put this on my crease. This is just a MAC black gel liner. I feel like gel liners just really stick, especially if I go on stage, I want something that just like stays on my eye and that just like stays really black. If I was like stuck on a desert island and I had to like bring one product, it'd probably be eyeliner. I kind of like discovered my signature makeup look when I was 
back in like secondary school i went to an all-girl catholic school so you weren't allowed to wear makeup but i just I, I did anyways i just wanted to find something that looked like not as obvious but still like bring my eyes out i really struggled with like, my eyes and how like how i felt about them kind of blend it out with any odd brush My parents are very traditional, but my mom, she has this crazy, crazy makeup collection. She loves me to wear makeup. My dad, not so much. I feel like dads do not understand the concept of makeup. They're just like, oh, you're not wearing any makeup at all. I'm like, I am wearing a lot of makeup, dad. It is the thing with my boyfriend. I'm just like, do you notice anything different? Like after I get my eyelashes done, he's like, um, you got your eyebrows done? I'm like, no, no, dude. Put it in the, just under my waterline. So it looks a bit smudgy and slept in. I have this hack that my makeup artist taught me. It's to curl like the ends of your eyelash extensions. So they like curl up and they look crazy. But you just have to make sure you're not doing it from the actual root because that will literally fuck up your eyelash extension. Mascara. I'm gonna move on to my lips. So this is a reader. It's like my favorite thing right now. And I use it like everywhere. I use it on my cheeks, I use it on my lips, I use it on my nose. I always stick to red lipstick, especially when I'm performing. I feel like it makes them pop. And then, cause I have like a lot of red on my finger. I think it just like stays better as well if you use lipstick as blush. It just like ties everything together. All the musicians I love and really look up to have this relationship with red lipstick that um, I guess I've adapted just by watching them so much. When I was a kid, I didn't have many musicians to look up to that were making the music I really loved that also looked like me. And then I saw Karen and I was like, oh my god, whoa, she's Asian and she makes rock music. That's so badass. And I'm going to move on to freckles. There's always this weird stigma behind freckles where it's like, why are people drawing on their freckles now? Like, I used to get bullied for my freckles. Well, let's just let everyone live and draw the freckles on. So this is just a normal eyebrow pencil. I think this is like the easiest, most simplest way to put some freckles on. I feel like this kind of like lifts. There are a lot of videos on TikTok of people recreating my look and it's very flattering. It's often just like 10 times better and they look 10 times better than me. And I'm like, how did you do that? Like, that's crazy. To finish up my look, this is a highlighter. Getting ready and like having like a skincare routine, even just like doing my makeup in the morning is like very therapeutic to me. What I find really important, especially like going on tours, trying to find time for myself because you are constantly around so much people 24 7. i got given this little cologne from my mum the scent just like smells like my mom so i feel like makes me feel close to home i'm gonna move on to my hair exciting news i'm actually brushing my hair for once i used to get so many dms being like god b just brush your fucking hair for once but now i've actually Generally listened, now I'm brushing my hair. I've been through so many hair colors and my hair is so damaged that it just needs to be brushed. I think the coloring my hair has come to an end, unfortunately. I'm on this wave where I just want really long black hair and just really healthy, silky hair. My last step to get rid of the frizz and all the little flyaways is bed head after party. You like put it in the ends of your hair this is my finished look. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm ready to start my day.